Join us in this episode of Musky Mastery Outdoors as we take advantage of the sun and moon's daily movements and strategically position ourselves on our best spot during this time to score. But I am going to throw in a couple spots uh, that I have found to be productive in the weeds. And this is, they're really few and far between. I mean, some of these spots, it, it just seems like the bait fish or whatever, it's just they're not developed enough, they're not peaked enough to hold fish, and it's kind of been really challenging deciphering which spots with weeds are holding bait fish and which ones are not. I mean, obviously seeing fish on the graph outside of these spots is one thing, uh, but you're not always seeing bait fish. And when you're seeing, uh, you know, bait fish and marking fish, it doesn't always, you know, indicate a, a musky catching. It just doesn't. There's a lot of times, right, I go around a spot and it, the bait is holding there, but for some reason, either the muskies are inactive or there's not a hot fish on the spot for whatever reason. So that's the name of the game. I don't have a whole lot of time here. The sun sets about 8.30. It'll be dark. Um, it's 2.30 now. So I've got a nice little window here to get out and get on them, hoping, uh, hoping for a big fish or really, you know what? Any muskie, they're all welcome in the boat. Let's face it. <laughs> Anytime you go out and catch a muskie, it's a great, it's a great day. After pounding the water all day with only one follow to show for my efforts, it was time to make a move. And luckily, I had two major salooner phases taking place very closely to one another, sunset and moon underfoot. Anytime you have a sunrise or a sunset taking place in conjunction with a moon phase, your chances of something big happening increase substantially. In an effort to further trigger a strike from a reluctant muskie, I downsized to a 500 booger tail tinsel. As you will see here, it worked, but you can't catch them all. Losing a nice muskie as the sun is setting can be tough emotionally, but it is more important to remember to keep your head up and just keep casting. Despite feeling bummed over the figure eight blunder, I quickly reminded myself that this was prime time. Anything could happen. Now, in order to take full advantage of the moon phases, you must not only position yourself on your best spot during the moon phase, but also to make sure your casts are landing on the spot on the spot, exactly where you believe the muskie will be hiding in ambush. Oh my god. Well that's the worst. That's the worst net job of the year. Oh we got the fish. Alright. Man, that is a gorgeous fish. Guys, when you're facing a tough bite, get on your best spot and take advantage of the moon. Here I put myself on the prime position on this reef on moon underfoot, major period, and scored. Beautiful musky. Let's get her back and get another one. Right. As the sun continued to set and my musky hunt drew to a close, I was reminded yet again just how strongly the sun and moon's daily movements influence musky feeding activity and behavior. When you have little to no weather changes to work with and the barometer remains steady, being strategic and timing your fishing locations in accordance with the salooner phases can make all the difference and will increase your muskie catching consistency. We hope you enjoyed this segment and as always, thanks for watching.
Chaz Martin's Musky Mastery Outdoors is brought to you by Joe Booker Outdoors, number one in big game fish products. And by St. Croix Rods, best rods on earth. Fish more, worry less.